And uh, Mark Lemar, go ahead. Just want to let you know uh, it'll be uh, probably 20, 30 minutes uh, estimate now. We'll be uh, turning in towards the airport. Hey, Mike Lima, uh, I'd like to start bringing you maybe to the northwest of the airport now, maybe slowly, uh, so we're ready to bring you in. Will that work for you? Yeah, I was just going to give you a call there, actually. So we're uh, we're 10 gallons aside now, and uh, we're probably good to uh, conduct the approach. Hey, Mike Lima, all right, turn left heading at 340, maintain 5,000 for now. That's 340 5,000, yeah, thank you. Hey, Mike Lima, Roger. You probably have thought about this, but uh, as we're brainstorming here, uh, somebody brought up that uh, maybe like a touch and go of bouncing it uh, on landing might loosen it up and uh, open it. So maybe a touch and go would be good first. Or? We could bounce this so always give it a shot. Okay, well, I just wanted to, uh, to at least give you that idea. Uh, whether you do that or not, it's totally up to you, but we'll bring you in now. Just under 4,000 VFR flight heading at 350. 4,350, waiting Mike Lima. Mike Lima, you can join right down wind runway 14 to send 2,500. Just thinking about winds there, they're 090 right now, it looks like. Uh, heading 100, uh, Christian, the winds are 1004 knots. Gotcha, okay. Uh, so we'll try to write down wind for one. Or if you might take one. If you might take one, Roger. Contact Tower now on 118. Uh, this good luck with everything, and uh, we'll see you later. Okay, we'll flip over to Tower now, yeah, thanks for your help. I want Tower to test now, Fox Trot, Indy Mike Lima, heading 350. 310 Fox Shot India, Mike Lima, Ottawa Tower, good day. Wind 100 at 4, altimeter is 3023. Continue with the right down for runway 14, descend at your discretion. Number 1 for runway 14. Uh, terminal Tilton told me that uh, you might want to try a touch and go before uh, making a full stop. India, Mike Lima, I, I don't think that that would be useful for us uh, given the event that I, I'm pretty sure it's completely uh, destroyed inside the nose that whatever happened there. So I don't want to chance to go around with my gear down and everything. So we're, we'll do a full stop uh, on this uh, approach. Okay, India, Mike Lima, so I check full stop on this approach. Uh, you plan on uh, staying on the two back uh, tires as much as you can, I'd assume? Yeah, we're going to shut down, uh, so we'll lose radio contact two, three hundred feet above the runway. We're going to shut the engines down and uh, we'll bring it in on the main gear and hold the nose off as long as possible. And we'll be getting out away from the aircraft as soon as we land. Okay, India, Mike Lima, check all that. We will let uh, the uh, emergency vehicles know that. And you said um, you won't be reachable on radio either, right? So you plan on stepping out the aircraft as soon as you're down? Affirmative. Yeah, we're going to shut it down about uh, two, 300 feet above the runway. And uh, as soon as we're stopped, we'll vacate. And if we're going to make this a long gradient uh, once we, we turn base there. So... Uh, just let me know if they have anything that they want uh, to do. Okay, India Mike Lima, we'll talk to them now, so just continue in downwind and uh, I'll let you know what they say. India Mike Lima, thanks. The uh, passenger will uh, plan on getting out of the aircraft as soon as they uh, touch down. Auto ground, uh, red one, uh, Roger, four, four to five minutes uh, before landing, and we'll be ready for the one day landing. Affirmative. Yeah. So they're going to they're going to shut down the engines when they're about 200 feet above the ground, uh, land a bit long, and try to stay on the main gear as long as possible. And then once the front comes down and they're settled, they'll get out of the airplane as fast as possible. Auto ground. Uh, this is one Roger, and you think they're going to pass Delta? So we uh, will set up the front and start I doubt they'll pass Delta, no, uh, for uh, the red one. Uh, and once they get out of the vehicle, is there anything that you want them to do? Yeah, they just, just come to uh, the red one command post, and then uh, we'll get this foot from there. Uh, so I'll fly them out when I get there. Okay, thanks. Smaller truck, it's a yellow truck that's a bit smaller than the, uh, the four firefighting trucks that are on the airport there. He's got a big one on it. He's called Red One. Um, they're going to want you guys, once the once you exit the aircraft, to walk towards him. Uh, he'll be flagging you down on the runway. Okay, check that for you, Mike Lima. And yeah, Mike Lima, Roger. So the wind 110 at 5. You are cleared to land, runway 14. Cleared to land, 14, India Mike Lima. And auto ground, uh, Red One. Red One, yeah. Auto ground, Red One. 
Okay, uh, not, uh, hopefully not, but uh, I'll let you know. They'll, uh, I guess they'll let you know. Wind check 110 one, at 4. Indy Mike, leave it, thanks. We're just uh, turning file. Roger.